The Seventh Amendment talks about uh, in suits at common law where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of uh, trial by jury shall be preserved. The most important words there, in suits at common law. Part of the Seventh Amendment, where can you find common law? Anybody have a phone number for a common law jurisdiction in Illinois or anywhere else in the United States? Common law is all about property. Common law is the Constitution. Common law jurisdiction is where the Bill of Rights actually means something. But we don't have common law in the United States anymore. My friend Rick, Rick Stanley in Colorado, holstered a gun, went and stood on the steps of the uh, Capitol in Colorado, in Denver, and they arrested him. They took him to court. He and his, uh, he did that deliberately. He and his lawyer were trying to defend the Second Amendment. And the judge says, you're not allowed to mention the Constitution in my court. You're not allowed to mention it in your voir dire. You're not allowed to ask questions about the Constitution. And you cannot mention the Constitution in your summary. Do you understand my instructions? I, I was really busy on the presidential campaign. Did Colorado secede from the Union when I wasn't looking? <laughs> How can any judge in the United States declare that you're not allowed to mention the Constitution? The answer is because you're not in a constitutional jurisdiction to begin with. It is a statutory jurisdiction. It is extra constitutional. The only thing missing are the kangaroos hopping around. You're guilty. We'll find a reason. Just, you know, relax. I'm sure that we can have the lawyers draw up some paperwork. I don't know why you're guilty yet, but we'll come up with something. And most people don't know that because they work really hard to have a driver's license. They make sure they get their concealed carry permit because you don't want to go to court. Oh my gosh, I'm going to need a lawyer. Well, you just led yourself right into a statutory jurisdiction. You have no rights. So what did he do? I... What did he do? Oh, he went to jail. He went to jail for a long time. And was he standing on principle? Was he right philosophically? Yes. The problem was they didn't know how to go about doing what he thought he was doing. Well, that would have cost him money and there would have been people turning against him. Yeah. And, and so he, he basically, he was standing on a railroad track holding up a copy of the Constitution. You want to know how much protection the Constitution will give you? Do that. <laughs> when the diesel locomotive's coming, you just hold up a copy of the Constitution. And that's going to demonstrate just how much protection the Constitution is going to be. It's your job to protect the Constitution. The one thing, and only thing, that I agree with George Bush is that it's only a piece of paper. I don't have freedom of speech because they wrote the First Amendment. I have freedom of speech because you're not big enough to shut me up. I don't have a right to keep and bear arms because a couple of words someplace says I have the right to keep and bear arms. I have the right to keep and bear arms because I know that it's a dangerous world out there and I will shoot and kill anybody that's trying to do the same to me. It's my responsibility. It's my life. They're my rights. And I know which ones I'm going to floss. 